So last year, this was me starting the Momentum 94.7 Cycle Challenge. This year, no dreaded N14. Woo! <laughs> yep, in celebration of its 18th year, the Momentum 94.7 Cycle Challenge has a brand new home, an upgraded route, and a better than ever riding experience. Because as great as it will be to have a better parking, nothing beats the feeling of crossing the finish line after riding a great route. And this route is nothing short of awesome. Don't believe me? Yes, pro rider Andrew McLean, he wrote it and had this to say. Tanya, lots of exciting things happening this yes. year. First of all, a new start finish venue. And uh, it's certainly a lot more interesting. It's yep. certainly a, a little bit more hilly. Yes. And I think for the pro race, it's going to be a very exciting race. It really lends itself to a proper finish. What is it going to do for the amateur? Well, my advice to the amateur would be, you're going to need to save a little bit more for the end. Now, when you come past the line park, you've got three proper hills to get up, and I mean yeah. proper hills. Yep. So you've got to ride a little bit lighter gears, save a little bit, make sure that you eat and drink continually, and I would change my training program to add in as many hills as possible. Because if you want a good momentum 94.7, you need to be good on the hills, and there's no better way to train hills yeah. than to ride yeah. them. Obviously, the, the bulk of our cyclists are not experienced cyclists, and this really has you know come through in our medical stats, and 90% of those accidents are caused by beginners who haven't got bunch riding skills. Um, and who wobbling around the road and that is something we've got to really work towards this year. So one of the best pieces of advice I can give is to join your local club, yes. ride with other people. One of the fundamentals is don't overlap your front wheel on yes. the back wheel of the rider in front and never ever look behind you. Your kind of frame of vision is there and anything behind that is not your problem. If you're nervous, ride on the outside of the bunch. Don't get caught right in the middle. It's a scary place to be. Mm. And of course, make sure that uh, you take your hands off the handlebar to get your water bottle only on a slight uphill, not when you're doing 60 kilometers okay. an hour down a hill because chances are you haven't got the skill and when you have an accident at 60, it's really not pleasant. If we could get everybody to not overlap on the wheel in front and never look behind them, I think we'd have one third of the accidents. And in is bunches. that what's happening in the pro peloton? Absolutely, yeah. exactly the same. And of course, in the pro peloton, it's exacerbated because they're riding that much closer, closer. together. Yeah. So their margins for error are a lot smaller. But their bike handling skills are better. Are much better. Yeah. And they're still making those mistakes. Yeah.